Alrighty folks, let the fun begin. Here's our freshly excavated pond. We got this thick felt in it for protection over liner. We always put this in. It's a little bit thicker stuff on the bigger projects because we have such big rocks. Getting ready to flip back our liner and then let's rock this baby in. There you have it, liner in. Got a little bit of fold city going over here, but seeing it's such a big piece of liner, it created a lot of folds, but we'll work with it. It's gonna be an all time favorite. We're gonna get lots of more awesome boulders tomorrow. So I'm thinking yeah. we start right here and we work our way over right there. Cause we're gonna have to do half and half again. Cause well, we can come over here. Yeah. Yeah, so I suggest we bring a nice center over here. We build this, we come out here build this and then we use our big goonies tomorrow and ice stream boulders for over there except for that nice flat rock that i want to use for the diving board mm. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. let the fun begin first boulder in the pond you ready for this oh yeah yeah he's ready for this he's already got his excavator pose feet propped up are you ready for this i am ready Woo! let's put her in i'm thinking right here Deej. There we go, first one in. All righty, folks, fish cave going in. Right here. We're in, Deej. There we go, some boulders. Big man Steven Ader himself brought us a load of boulders. Good evening folks. I'll give you a small update on how far we got today. As you can see, that's about all we got done today. We had to help out the electricians and trench the ditch out behind. So we didn't quite make it as far as we'd hoped, but yeah, that's about all the further we got. So we'll be back in the morning and we'll see you then. Well, Deej, rain or shine, the pond must go in. I don't know how much rain we had here last night, but we had we had a river coming in here this morning. It's gonna be muddy. <laughs> no big deal. I'm fully prepared to work in the rain. He I likes it. Oh, I like it. I, I grow faster in the rain. Are you a survivor of 2018, Beach? Mm -mm. You're not. 2018 was the year that every day was like this. Yeah, let's get build it. Check it out. It must have rained a ton last night. Got at least uh, 14 inches of rain in the pond and our basin is pretty much full. Let's say three quarters full. So there you have it, a lot of rain. Yeah, I thought it looked like a lot. Whee! No, it's dry. It's dry out here, it's insane. Christopher loves working in the rain. Oh yeah. Good afternoon. It is about two o'clock, I believe. Coming to you from from the mud pit here. We pretty much got the actually we do have the whole pond rocked in, and just getting ready to set the first what is it right hand frame boulder for the uh, stream. I'm taking any and all volunteers to start washing my clothes. Anyone? Deej? Nope. You're you're riding home on the truck bed. Hey Ben, where are you? Hey Ben, you should come out and talk to the camera. Shh, I'm a bluegill, go oh. away. I'm a bluegill in my fish cave, go away. Oh, fuck you, hey, No, 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 seriously. Uh, bluegill will show you around here. 
we worked through some of the nastiest mud that I've worked through in a while yesterday. But in spite of slogging through that, I'm really happy with what we got done. Our pond is pretty much completely rocked in. A couple of areas here and there. But I'll show you some of the cool features in here. After spending like way too much time, I did get a little cool fish cave in here. And this is, I didn't, I can explain a little bit better how the negative edge works. Basically our pond fills up to this point. This is a dirt berm and water, basically we create a low edge in the pond. So it fills up to this point, it spills out over here. Water is only gonna be about two inches deep. Comes over here, spills out of the pond into the basin and the pumps set down there in those vaults pump it up to the top of the stream, which we're not done building yet. It comes back down into the pond, fills up, and spills out. So it's a big site going here. The purpose for this negative edge was to bring a nice big waterfalls right up close to their house. Whereas if we'd have just had the pond, the stream up there, it'd been really cool, but it's a little bit farther away from the house. So because of those big windows and the deck down here, I mean the, the patio down here, we did this to help bring that water feature real close. So that's one of the cool things, negative edge. Another cool thing is this point is going to be just a little bit above water and water is just going to suck around here. This also acts like the skimmer. It draws all the debris off the surface of the pond and collects them down there in the basin. Uh, we have some lights. The light shining in here, a light in there, a light shining in the bottom. And then this is my diving board since I'm never allowed to build a wreck pond. This is the best I can do. We made it super deep here. I put this big rock up against here. You'll be able to stand here and feed the fish, or you'll be able to sit here and dangle your legs in the water. Or dive in. And feed the fish with your toes. Or you could dive in, just assume the risk of doing so. <laughs> the new patio that we're building is gonna be right up along here. I'm gonna bring it right to the edge of the pond so that you can interact with the water. And then, water's gonna be about 36 inches here. Nice and deep. Then, on up to the stream. This thing's gonna be 15 feet long. We're gonna have water falling down into here. And we're just standing here looking at this like, hey, what if we made a little waterfalls right here, and then a little pool in here, and we also brought water out over here. So we have water here and here. This would kind of split the stream. So we did that, and we moved up to the next one. Kind of the same concept here. Water's going to be falling here. What is that? Maybe 12, 15 inches or something like that. Um, Pump yeah. Here. And Roughly. this rock will split the stream, and we're going to have a little gusher in here. The point for this was to get good viewing from that patio that we're going to be building, and also get some nice falls from the house. So two different angles in there, just a little pool. Now we're ready to move on to the final falls of this project and the last leg. It may be epic if we stay busy. The best one this year. Well, I haven't gotten to that part yet. Deeds jumped way ahead there. When I was all done, I was gonna tell you I think this is the best one of the year. And I wanted to he, say it first. He way interrupted me. And then we'll do the final part right over there. Okay, let's start rocking. Folks, I'm getting ready to thread on the uh, bulkhead pieces. Here we go. <laughs> what in the, oh my word, what's going on? Oh, what do you know, there's a Deej in there. <laughs> this, folks, is how you end a hard day of pond jobs. See, I think it's a little lemon cake. Lemon cake. I think that's what he that's for the That's for the trip home. And these are the kind mm. of people that we like to work for. People bring out snacks and stuff. You know what I mean? Take a look over here. We have one uh, biofoils placed here, coming out over here, facing our patio over there. So that's just gonna, and I'm gonna put another rock. I kind of forgot about that. 
right here just below water level. It's really going to create some boiling, rolling Turmoil. water there. Then we have the second bio falls over here. Spill away this way towards the house. We've got this neat little divot in this rock that's going to cause water coming this way as far as water coming this way. Then come down. I like this rock that joins the two together. It's kind of my new thing right now. Deep pool. This one's going to be about 10 inches deep. Comes over here, wraps around here. Oh, not quite. Some of it's going to spill over here. Spill over here. The rest of it's going to wrap around here. And I've got a neat little thread coming down here below the rest. And I'm going to knock off this point a little bit, but the rest will come down here. Here again, viewing from the house, viewing from the patio area. Then, here, here it comes. This is the water. Down here. And then this pool isn't very deep, but water coming over here. Hopefully I can get some water coming over this point as well, which would be super cool. And then, oh wait, that's not all. <clears throat> then we have this little neat thing. Uh, spillway isn't in yet, but it's gonna go somewhere right here. Water fall into a little pool right here. And then over into the pond right here. And then there's the pond. Yep, there's the pond. Cool fish cave, cool fish cave diving board if you're a little kid. You already pointed all those out. I know, but I want to point them out again because I'm super proud of that one right there. Diving board, fish cave. And then, out the pond, out the pond, around these points, skim the water, and then into the basin, down here. Here's a little bit better idea of what we were thinking. Spillway, drop, spillway, drop again, spillway. Oh, also water coming over again. here, over there. Mm -hmm gonna be super cool and Deej is gonna bring a bucket a box of moss tomorrow actually and not make all the foam go say what well, say what Deej I didn't say anything you said you're not bringing the moss okay I am rephrase that Deej not is bringing spend the moss three hours of his day tomorrow that he could be doing other productive things and he's gonna walk through this woods looking for moss you got it. Glad we got that covered. Ben also says we're gonna get this pond running tomorrow. I'm very hesitant because we gotta clean all the boulders off. We gotta fill the whole pond with water. Right. That's gonna take forever. And we have the stream to finish, foaming to do. Yeah, I don't think. But hey, whatever. Yeah, I think so. Definitely good at running. Maybe we'll by see. We'll maybe, see. Maybe right. by lunchtime.